Have you ever questioned why grief and loss are such profound experiences? It's a universal human experience, grief. It can lead us down a path of loneliness, despair and questions that seem unanswerable. Yet there is hope, there is comfort, and it's found in the most timeless source we have, God's Word. This divine scripture is a wellspring of reassurance, a beacon in the darkest night. But remember, even in the deepest sorrow, God's promises offer hope and solace. Consider the words of Psalm 34 verse 18, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This scripture isn't just an assembly of beautiful words, it's a balm, a soothing promise to the soul that is wrestling with grief. It reminds us that God is acutely aware of our pain, our sorrow, our heartbreak. He is not a passive spectator observing from a distance. No, he is right there with us, in the thick of it all, feeling our pain as deeply as we do. He's close, so close to those whose hearts are shattered, whose spirits are crushed. This verse is an assurance that God, in his infinite wisdom and boundless compassion, understands our grief. He is ready and willing to provide the comfort we seek, to save us from the depths of our despair. In our pain, God is not a distant observer, but a close companion. In Matthew 5, 4, we find a promise that brings comfort in times of mourning. This verse, part of the Beatitudes, is a profound message from Jesus Christ himself. It says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Now, let's break this down a bit. Mourning is a deep, personal experience, often accompanied by feelings of despair and sorrow. It's a universal human experience that we all go through at some point in our lives. But in this verse, Jesus assures us that those who mourn are blessed and they will receive comfort. This comfort doesn't necessarily mean the immediate cessation of pain or the instant resolution of all problems. Rather, it's about the reassurance that you are not alone in your grief. It's about the promise that God is with you in your deepest sorrow, providing solace and healing in ways we may not always understand, but can always trust. In your mourning, God promises comfort. John 14, 27 speaks of a peace unlike any the world can offer. This verse is a gentle whisper in the storm, a beacon of light in the darkness, a promise from the heart of God directly to us. It says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This peace isn't the absence of troubles. It's the presence of God in the midst of them. It's the assurance that even when everything around you seems to be falling apart, there is a divine order, a sacred harmony that holds everything together. This is the peace that transcends understanding, the peace that guards our hearts and minds even in the face of grief. It's a peace that doesn't deny the reality of pain, but it does defy its power over us. It's a peace that doesn't ignore our questions, but it does outlast our doubts. It's a peace that comes not from the absence of storms, but from the presence of the one who calms them. This verse is also a call to courage, it's a reminder that we don't have to let our hearts be troubled or afraid. Even in our deepest grief, we can find a strength that is not our own, a strength that comes from the God who is with us, the God who is for us, the God who is in us. In your sorrow, God offers his peace and strength. These words of comfort are not meant to be kept to ourselves. They are a balm, a soothing salve to the soul, intended to be shared, especially in times of sorrow. If you know someone who is walking through the valley of grief, perhaps these words can be a beacon of light for them. Remember, in sharing these passages, you're not just passing along verses from a book. You're extending a hand of hope, a lifeline of love, and a promise of peace that surpasses all understanding. You're reminding them that even in the midst of their pain, they are not alone. Your act of sharing could be the catalyst for someone's healing, the key that unlocks the door to their comfort. It's not just about sharing a video, but about sharing God's enduring love, his unwavering comfort and his promise of hope. Share this message of hope and comfort with others. In doing so, you extend God's love and compassion.